Hey guys, it's Bano. In the last part, we did the we did the first half of the second world. In this part, we're going to do the second half of the second world. Which will end us up pretty much halfway in the game, I guess. So, I snow him well. I really can't remember the stages. I definitely did try out a lot of stages, but I didn't really try out that many of the second world. I think it's because I'm a bit prejudiced towards the second world. I don't really snow it well. Ah. Uh... Oh, this is why I hated the penguins, because it came up here. Music is so good! So I guess you just gotta hit all the thing I was... There's a secret over there. I'm gonna go in after I get the gobbo. It would be over there, wouldn't it? Or it would be a crystal, perhaps. In the second game, I believe... In the second game, I may as well just say, there were no gobbos. What? They did have the colored gems, and crystals, they looked quite a lot different. They looked like diamond shaped, like, um, you know, what a gem would look like, so to speak. Oh, it's a key. I'll get the key. Look at that water. That's so good. It's a texture. I don't know. But it looks so good. Um, anyway, when you get all five, though, you get a gold, a golden gobbo appears, usually at the entrance of the stage or whatever, somewhere in the stage. Oh, yeah, I know. These bonuses are just for extra lives. Oh, I got hit then. Wow. It's good for extra lives, though. Seriously, there's one on top of each of these. Oh, and remember, you got a 180. That would that would help in things like the other thing. Oh well. Anyway, so the golden gob, the the golden gobber. What is that? Well, basically, you pick it up and then it warps you to a special bit of the level, except in that one step, except in one stage or two of them, perhaps. But that one stage is also the one that's the easiest. <laughs> um, the one I keep breaking all the time. Um, ha! Platforms. Um, oh, sorry. And the golden gobo bits are so tough. And you know what the big problem is? If you die, you don't go back from the beginning of the golden gobo. You have, you exit. You exit the, um, the, uh, golden gobo bit, which means you don't get the golden gobo. You'll need all the golden gobos in order to get to the, uh, special end stage. Um, and you know what? They hide some of these, uh, c colored crystals as well. In, um, uh, item specific areas, like you might need this certain item in order to get, in order to get this one, like a clockwork gobbo, which you wind up and then you go along the distance, which is actually a very strange item. You stand on a point when you use it and then it like warps the gobbo to a bit. Which, I don't know, it's weird. Oh, precision jumping! The lighting's pretty cool. It's the same music they use in the Croc 2. For the, for the cave stage, nonetheless. You know what's actually cool? I remember I remember going through the the um, music files of this game. Uh, or the loops, which were conveniently po posted on that croc forum. Um, and two of them set were the same tune. But they kind of sounded just like, you know, they used different instruments. I put the two together and it just sounded like... Full music. It was off the cave tune too, but it just sounds so awesome. I, I won't, I won't post it up, but it did sound very good. I tried it with the other ones, with other ones, but for the most part, they were at different tempos and stuff. These two, they were exactly, they were in sync, which was very good. But not like the band. There is a band called In Sync, right? I think so. Or N Sync or something. I bet you there's a gobbo in this one. No. Huh. Two golden crist gold. Two colored crystals. No gobbo. Strange. Interesting. Intriguing. Yeto! I'm not gonna do that ever again. <laughs> Oh guys, we got that. We got all the colored crystals. We need, I think, one more gobbo. Where's the platform? There's a platform! What's over there? What's over there? I'm gonna go over here, because I, I feel like they're pulling the 
the thing I'm hiding behind the gong trick again. Oh no. Don't spin whatever you do. Jeez, you are Ah! You'll hate yourself if you, if you spin at the wrong time. But yeah, since he controls like a tank, the camera is usually in a, in the good position, right behind him. Yeah, except it just kind of edges its way around camera, uh, around walls. But for the most part, I don't know why you yell about the camera. You can pretty much judge jumps pretty well. His shadow pretty much points directly down the entire time, so you know where he's standing. Guys throwing snowballs. <laughs> These annoying platforms, yeah, uh, definitely. You know what? Actually, Grok Two has some of the most annoying stages, even in the second world, which is probably my my head. As that Roger Ant stage and that snowball stage, and you have to beat all the stages in order to, in order to get to the boss. You have to beat all of them. You don't actually have to really get anything. And I'm sorry. What? I'm sorry, where was the challenge in that? There was literally one enemy. Maybe they felt sorry for the people who played... Be really careful. <laughs> Say no snow! Okay. There's a password. I'm showing this password to people who are, I, I presume are playing along. I don't know. I could talk about level different uh, version differences, the difference between this version and the PC version and the place and the Saturn version. But generally, it doesn't matter what version you get because they all play the same. They have the same controls. They all have the same levels with everything in the same place, pretty much. So you know, it doesn't matter what version you get. I'd recommend the PlayStation version. It has all the music, but for the most part, you don't really have to. Doesn't matter what version you get, if you want to just get a PC version, that's fine, because it'll have everything there. The music is kind of there, if you can get it to work. <laughs> oh, I remember this one. This one is just like so mean. Now, you gotta know, this water isn't water, it's like frosty water, so it's no it's a no-go zone. You have to note that. Usually, usually water that leads to a water section is actually quite obvious like it's like one it's the only way to go and two it's usually like quite secluded it's not a bottomless pit that you fall in very clever how they do it though well, I came out of a door last time I don't know how that happened yes those platforms man look at that it's just like, oh goodness. They do some very confusing things with the platforms. Also, there's pretty much no difference between these platforms, aside the fact that the, the, the first and third ones uh, fall, and the second one breaks. But you heard the really cartoony sound of it falling. It literally just takes a dive. It just, it doesn't, it doesn't just gradually go down, it just straight down. So pretty much when it falls, you're stuffed. Unless you're not on it, in that case, it's okay. I bet you that there's a switch at the end where platforms will appear with the weird shadows that don't seem to completely correspond to what's underneath, but who cares? Uh, the ice world does have some very nice bits, but the problem is it's an ice world. Not many people like ice worlds. I'm one of them. I like Water levels. Water levels are very fun in my opinion. I don't like ice worlds. Mario 64 pulled two of them on me. I'm sorry. Those two, right? Yeah. Okay, I want to get my facts straight. I was also thinking of jumping up into that box. I played too much Mario. Goodness me. Jumping up into a block. Into a box. Preposterous. I bet you there's a key in there somewhere. Yeah, there you go. Yep. Oh, Boom! You died. Okay, let's get that. Let's get those. That'd be a gobbo in one of those, seriously. Die! I like the names they give these enemies. They're just all Dantinis. Because Dantini, I think, is. I think it's one of the developers' names. That's the thing, you name things after developers. For example, Rasputin. 
Yes, I've played that game not entirely all the way through, and yes, it's good. Thank you, Humble Bundle, for pretty much doubling its sales. <laughs> Seriously, the Humble Bundle... I, I might as well say, Psychonauts. The Psychonauts was part of the Humble Bundle ones. The Humble Bundle is like something where you pay whatever you want and you get all these games, but you have to pay above the average in order to get Psychonauts or something, I think. No, it was Bastion. It was Bastion at that time. It was, it was quite recent, actually. Um, but Psychonauts didn't sell well. It came out in 2005 for PlayStation 2 and Xbox and stuff. It was by Double Fine. It was one of their first games, I think. Um, and it was a good game. It's just nobody bought it. Unlike this, I'm um, sorry, I'm like, this is a good game, actually. A bunch of people bought it, but apparently the company went broke. Um, I was thinking Answer the Dragonfly. <laughs> it got Platinum Ranking, and it sucks. Oh, goodness. Oh, that's nice. I think a little boxes that you do from back, so... Um, you know what's actually really weird? I'm okay with getting it, I just missed it the first time. You know what's really weird? Answer the Dragonfly actually got similar scores to this game. That game got around fives in average, but um, oh, how many? Okay, I got, I got five. Okay, um, this got sixes. All around. We got a bunch of sixes. It's jelly in there, by the way. I don't know if I'll, I'll be playing the sequel on PlayStation. Or not. It's like a piranha plant. He doesn't pop out if you're right next to him. So this is clever, because you use an idea. You know what, actually, I do feel like finding those secrets in, in uh, the Emperor's New Groove. I know they're very well hidden, those secrets. Bunch of them just involve, like, just finding doors and stuff, I don't know. Because I can never see it around. The, this game, I never really found the gobos, but I kind of knew exactly what to do. You just had to have the patience in order to go in all those side paths and try and unlock everything. For example, having to jump off those moving platforms just to get the um, gobo, you know? 34! Oh yeah! But we're still going, by the way. License to chill! Bum, 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 copyright. <laughs> I'll end it there. But seriously. Who else has a license to chill? Not me. I have to make an LP. <laughs> LPs are so laid back for videos. You create a lot of content in LP. And yeah, LPs, a lot of content, not as much effort into it. For an LP, you need to be very, very good at just taking the patience of, of having to play through an entire game. See, yeah, I mean, I totally did not cut Project Short Super Mario Galaxy 2 Gold and some Picross 3D, Picross DS, Master, Master, yeah, Master of Illusion, Pokemon Diamond, Mario Land, kind of. That's it. Yes. I just realized I'm going on with the stage. Am I? I think I am going on with the stage. Why would they keep sending me up? Oh, gosh, these jumps! <laughs> oh, God. I, I really am going on with the stage, aren't I? Oh, nope. I jumped. Oh, crap. I, I've botched that up. Yeah! Oh! Ah! Oh, my voice cracked. Not good for throat. I've got a key, but I don't know what to use it on. I don't oh goodness! Hey, we're up to two. We're up to two six. I think it's okay if I die. Game overs. I greatly not appreciate it because then I gotta play through a whole stage again. Stages take around six or so minutes. Go, Charlie! 
Yes, I am in a different section of the game. What does that switch do? I'll see ya! Blue, blue gem, there you go. Yeah, I'm totally in a different bit. Wait, I wanna slide down. By the way, they intended escape uh, surfboarding, or snowboarding. Snowboarding, not surfboarding. That's why the sliding animation looks like that, because they intended for him to do snow, uh, snowboarding. They didn't quite get around to it. They also tried it in the sequel, they didn't quite get around to it. Give me platform 3, 2. That was on 2. Again, that platform there! Is that part of the skybox or is that just there? It's not part of the I don't know if it's part of the skybox. I don't think. They didn't. It wouldn't have been part of the skybox. So it's like that skybox. It's literally just a. White sky. It's a, it's a white round with a panoramic view, which really obviously cuts it around that point. But it's so charming, this game. I think this is probably one of the stages where I- Did I just jump off that guy? Should I be going down this- I don't know, I'm gonna be going over here just because I don't trust my jump. Okay, what's in the other ones? Is there a- I don't think there would be- I, I could get the red crystal, you never know. Oh, just jump. This part is going so much longer than I intended. Awesome. There's 180 in the second game, doesn't look as cool. Not at all. Aha, you thought you could get me. Okay, I got a key. Me and the key. Oh, what's with that chest? That box was floating! And there's a, there's a red crystal, there's a bunch of other crystals. So what would be in here? Would there be a bunch of extra lives, or would it be another crystal? Another gobbo? Oh! One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Oh, for goodness sake. Oh, for goodness sake. Oh, thank goodness I was good enough for a combo. Because seriously, I. I bunch that up. There is a quota that give you an extra life, I think, if you don't do too well, or they give you a bunch of crystals. Or something. They give you a consolation prize. Okay, so now I gotta do this. That's the annoying part. They put the they put a key and then they put the I don't know. It's like you don't know exactly if that's the bonus or not. It's it Less linear stages. I just remember that one before. That one before was definitely the one I remember. Okay, where is that next platform? There you are. Now I gotta do that jump. Okay, you saw how tall that mountain was. Now look at this cave. It's a lot taller than it looked like on the outside, eh? Who cares? You can kind of see the similarities with this in the Empress New Groove, though, in design. Like, seriously, the doors that lead to rooms are a lot bigger. <laughs> Just empty rooms. Oh. Guff. Guff. What is that? What is a guff? I mean, I'm recording this on Wednesday, which is very odd of me. I don't re usually record things on Wednesdays. Explosion Wednesday. I think I was gone for yeah. I hope I'm not missing arm on four, so it's good. You want to make sure that your gobos and your crystals are around the same. And the crystals are in order, so you know that. Okay. 
I'm always say- oh by the way, yeah. When I said that the worlds have not similar designs, they yeah, you know, the caves are a bit similar. You don't see caves in, the, in World 3 though, for the most part. Oh, they look a lot different in World 3. There is definitely a, go a golden gobbo, no, a, a colored crystal. Right at the end. Yup. <laughs> but I'm gonna need a gobbo. Be a gobbo in one of these. Okay. These platforms, goodness. Oh, there's a gobbo in here. What's it over there? It's weird. This would be the harder one. The Getting the gobbo on this side would be a lot easier. You just have a disappearing platform rather than. Oh, you got a life over here. Don't hit that. Now I know a bunch of people have played this game before, but it, I don't know, it wasn't, you know, it's not too commonly played. I, I, the last, I only saw like two LPs of it. In fact, one of them wasn't an LP. Goodness. Thank goodness. For now I gotta jump. Jump! Jump! Thank goodness. <laughs> I just throw one at the very end. For boss time! I know it's been 20 minutes! I don't care! Demon it sees... Something. I see pal Ice Palace. I think I played this guy, actually, yeah. I played this guy. In the test. Why is he called Demon? When you see him, you'll know exactly- I- uh, you'll know exactly why I'm questioning why he's called Demon. You'll know why I know why- why he's- whying. Why? Look at this. <laughs> I'm four people in one. I guess he's demon. He's got the horns. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah. It's kind of in the dark for this first bit. I believe it's only this first bit, actually. There's not... There's only just a bunch of platforms. But again, you know, the lighting. You can't tell what's too far in front. So you don't know how far left the stage. It's actually a very nice idea that they never incorporated in the Emperor's New Groove. Why? They didn't do any lighting thingy in the Emperor's New Groove. But this is like genius lighting because it's just a moving source of light. Sure, there were no proper shadows. It was all blob shadows, but still, blob shadows are still pretty good. I don't know how to do blob shadows, actually. I always use a shadow. Yeah, shadows get tiny as you go away. Whenever I was developing, I use I used like a like a circle and a light above, but it went through the player and it would just follow the player and you know it would shine on the object. But it also shine on lower platforms as well, which is kind of odd. Um, I didn't I didn't understand why that happened. So anyway, I was going like, huh. oh, and it's this bit too. Um, so I was going, hmm, why is it doing that? And I have no clue why. But I, I can't make it so the shadow gets tinier, because in every game the shadow gets tinier as you go along. In real life the shadow gets less, as is less opaque as you go further away from the light source. That's real life. In video games, it just gets tinier. You know, that works. You know that something's getting bigger. But in what I was developing with, it seemed to get bigger, and then it just it never got too far away. Or I could say it to be too far away. Let him hit. Let him get all dizzy. Smack. Oh goodness, there's two of them. So you gotta watch out because then they'll, they'll have two people. You can hit him as well. Let's get it. Oh, but the tiny guys though, they'll just roll around. But you can hit them fine. No matter what, you don't have to wait for them to do that. You can just hit the fine. And the last guy will just die. See, that guy wasn't too bad. Boing. <laughs> Alright, so we got Ice Bridge to Eternity. I am doing surprisingly well on getting all these gobbos. This music is awesome. 
and this is and I guess they just use the same style of music for um, Emperor's New Groove, I guess, because I don't know, I hear the same style of music in that game. Okay, so I guess I'll see you guys next part where we'll be saving our game. No, we'll be starting a desert, and you'll be surprised how much water is in this desert. Forty percent. Oh yeah. All right, see you kids then.